Hi, I'm Jason Hudson from Tenzig Technology, and today we'll be showing you how to create a multi-app kiosk custom shell for your Tenzig Windows 10 IoT Thin Clients. Creating custom shells gives you the ability to launch your user's desktop to deliver single or multiple applications at login, so that your end users only get access to what they need and nothing more. It also gives your system engineers and administrators a more controlled and secure desktop environment to set up and manage, and is quite easy to maintain if you need to change the applications your users need access to in the future. We'll show you how to use Microsoft Endpoint Manager, MEM, inside the Azure AD to create a kiosk-based configuration profile that will configure your Tenzig Windows 10 IoT devices out in the field. We're going to create two applications on our Windows multi-app kiosk thin client desktop by adding the remote desktop client and then the Microsoft Edge browser, both as Win32 apps. We need to find the location of the Edge browser and remote desktop client applications executables and also something known as the AUMID or Application User Model ID. You can find the AUMID in several different ways on your Windows clients using File Explorer to navigate to the Installed Apps folder, getting them from the registry, or using PowerShell to extract them. We'll show you how to do this by using PowerShell, as we'll then be able to cut and paste the XE locations and AU mid details directly into the MEM configuration profile. To open PowerShell, right-click the Start menu and click Run. Inside the dialog box, type in PowerShell and press Enter or OK. Once inside the PowerShell console, type in get hyphen start apps and press Enter. And you'll see a complete list of installed applications and the respective AU mids under the heading of App ID. We can see the app name Remote Desktop just down the list and its associated App ID next to it called microsoft.remotedesktop.wpf. We can also see the Edge browser app ID named MS Edge just a bit further down. I already know the executable locations for these apps, so now we're ready to create the kiosk configuration profile in Endpoint Manager. Once inside the Endpoint Manager portal, we need to click on Devices, and then scroll down and click Configuration Profiles. We need to click Create Profile, and then click the Platform drop-down in the right-hand menu, and select Windows 10 and Later from the list. From the Profile type below, we need to select Templates, Highlight Kiosk further down the list and click Create. Give the profile a meaningful name and description and then click Next. Now, we need to select a kiosk mode that we want our Tenzig endpoints to operate in. We have the options Single App Full Screen Kiosk or Multi App Kiosk. If you're sure that you'll only ever want to use a single application for your users to access, then select Single App. However, if initially you think you need one app, but might want to introduce others in future, then select Multi-App Kiosk. This method gives you the ability to run a single app that auto-launches and behaves in a similar way to the Single App option, but then gives you the flexibility to add additional apps in future, should your organization decide this is now a business requirement. We're going to select multi-app kiosk for the purpose of this demonstration. If you set target devices running Windows 10 11 in S mode to yes, then you won't be able to include any Win32 apps in here to run inside your kiosk. If you set this to no, then you will be able to build in Win32 apps in the profile. But if your client endpoints are running Windows 10 or 11 in S mode, then these configs won't be applied to those devices. For this demo, we're going to say no, as our clients aren't running S mode and we want to set up our kiosk with Win32 apps. So we can show you how it works by adding in the AU mid and XE locations also. 
In the user logon type box, you have several options available, including auto logon, local user accounts, Azure AD user or group, and HoloLens visitor. We're going to select auto logon as we want our device to automatically sign in every time our device reboots and then launch the kiosk for us. Setting this option has the added benefit of automatically creating the user named kiosk on your devices once the configuration profile has been applied to your endpoints. This is really useful if your clients usually only have local user accounts that they sign in with and you want to keep this kiosk user and configuration separate from those accounts from a maintenance perspective. First, we're going to create the remote desktop client as a Win32 app. So we click Add Win32 app, and in the right-hand window, type in the name of the app. This can be anything you want, but it makes sense to call it something meaningful to the app, so not to confuse your end users. Remote desktop client is a good choice. Next, we're going to copy and paste in the location of the application executable, including the physical.exe name itself. In this example, ours is going to be the C program files remote desktop msrdcw.exe. Now, the last piece of information required is the AU mid that was displayed next to the remote desktop app name when we ran the PowerShell function get start apps. This AU mid was called microsoft.remotedesktop.wpf. So we'll paste that in here also and then click OK to save it. We want this remote desktop client app to launch automatically as soon as the kiosk user auto logs in. So we need to tick the auto launch box next to the app. Next, we're going to add the Edge browser as a Win32 app. So again, we click Add Win32 app and fill in the relevant details, name, path, and the AU mid, which in this case is MS Edge. Now we have our two apps that will appear on the Tenzig Windows 10 Thin Client desktop once the configuration profile is applied to the device. We're going to do one last thing before we finalize the profile, and that's to make the Windows taskbar visible to our users, so they can easily switch between the two apps if they're running at the same time. We need to click Show on Windows taskbar option below, and then click Next at the bottom of the screen. We click Next again on Scope Tags, and then assign it to our group that our Tenzig device already belongs to in the AAD. We click Add Groups under the Included Groups section and then choose the group Tenzig Devices by typing it into the right hand search box, highlighting it and then clicking Select below. We click Next, Next and then Create once we're happy with the contents of the config profile. Once saved, you'll see it appear in the list. Now let's see what happens to our Tenzig Windows 10 IoT device once the profile has been applied and the client has restarted. Notice that the device is logging in automatically as user kiosk that's created locally on the thin client as part of the MEM configuration profile during the deployment and setup process. Once logged in, notice that the remote desktop client is launched automatically Remember, we switched this on during the configuration profile setup before we deployed it to the Tenzig Thin client. If we minimize the remote desktop client, you can see our two kiosk app icons on the desktop. If we click on the Microsoft Edge icon, this launch is alongside our remote desktop client. And because we specified that we wanted our taskbar visible, we can switch easily between both applications, but can also use Alt and Tab to do this in the traditional manner. Remember, if you wanted to add or remove your thin client apps at a later date, then it's just a simple case of modifying your mem config profile to do just that. Creating multi-app kiosks can be tailored to suit your own needs and even modified to add more apps or just even run the multi-app kiosk with a single app.
just by removing those apps you don't need and then hiding the taskbar. If you watch this clip, then you have all you need to do this in your own endpoint manager environment. But if you'd like a personal copy of the documentation used for this video, Tenzig already have it for you. Just contact your local tech support team for more details. This concludes today's demonstration on how to build a multi-app kiosk custom shell for your Tenzig Windows 10 Thin Clients. We showed you how to gather the local client AU mids using PowerShell and then create a multi-app kiosk using Endpoint Manager to set up your own Tenzig Windows 10 Thin Clients running a remote desktop client and an Edge browser. We also showed you how to set up the remote desktop client to auto-launch on startup and how to configure the taskbar for ease of app navigation on the Tenzig client. I hope you enjoyed the session and remember, if you have any questions regarding this or related topics, then please contact your Tenzig team or visit the website at www.tenzig.com. From all of us here at Tenzig, thanks for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.